Okay, this one is about uh, a burner with too little air. Now this burner, you can see here, um, it doesn't look too bad. The flame doesn't look too bad. You can see it's coming out of the top of the combustion chamber and it's actually filled the entire combustion chamber. And you can see little bits of black and stuff like that uh, uh, in the flame. This flame, because it uses a small amount of air uh, rather than the sufficient amount of air, actually will make a fairly good burn. It just uh, sets up the uh, heat exchanger. That's the biggest problem with it. Uh, it's not quite as efficient as if it's uh, got the right amount of air, but it's not a long way off. Okay, here's a picture of the vent. Okay, looking at this, you can see this is with no air. Just as, well, there's some air coming through, but the lowest I can set the air. Obviously, this is gonna soot up the heat exchanger. So now if I start changing this air, let's see what happens. Now you notice, I now I moved the air just a little bit. And there we cleared up all the smoke. Now we're gonna do smoke tests on this thing and all the rest of that crap later on. But right now we're just talking about how these burners work. So uh, it didn't take much to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you, take the camera down there and show you. Now here's my air adjustment. Now I've got it closed, and let's look back here. Okay, you can see a lot of smoke coming out of that thing. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and just tweak this thing. Try that. Now you can see it doesn't take very much, does it? We still probably got just a little bit of smoke left in that thing. Uh, so when we adjust air, just in small bits. I'm going to take a look at that fire the way the fire looks now because it looks like it's pretty close to the right uh, amount of air. See, that looks pretty fair. No smoke coming out of it. Uh, but we don't have any sparklies or anything in it. Looks like we're getting pretty, uh, pretty good burn. Okay, one other thing you might notice, you can see that flame is pulling up towards the head. It's still a, what we used to call a sunflower burner, but it's getting tighter up against the head. I'm going to go ahead and add more air to it so I can show you again how it pulls it off. And you can see there the, the flame is actually pulled away from the head. Of course it's got a lot smaller now too because it has way too much air in it. And that's for the burner with too little air.